If you have ever wanted a black fifth wheel, here it is. I'm really excited to show this thing to y'all. Supposedly this is a limited edition, one of one from what I understand. They do make this in the standard Cougar exterior package as well, but this is something I just had to show y'all. So let's go take a look. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. For y'all that are new here, my name is Miles, and I'm with Firmly Unbound. And if you are not new here, I'm at the Hershey RV Show in Hershey, Pennsylvania. This is the first day, so it's kind of setup day, and this is the only day I really get to run around and run wild with very limited people in the way. So I'm really excited to show you this 2024 Keystone Cougar. This is a 260 MLE, and this is in the midnight edition. From what I understand, this is only going to be a one of one. But if you want to see more of these from Keystone Cougar, please let us know down below in the comments. I know they will see them. So let us know what you think about this all blacked out version of this fifth wheel. Because I am here at an RV show, I go through these videos a little bit quicker than I normally would because my time is just so limited and I want to show you as much as possible. So I'll try to show you everything you need to know and keep it as concise as I can so I can get on to showing you more stuff. Um, but I do want to let you know right away, they do make this 260 MLE that we're looking at in their standard exterior colors as well that you will see here. So they actually have another one down here in their standard Cougar exterior colors. This here is their Midnight Edition. So this is going to be the all blacked out Keystone Cougar. And it is just so stinking sharp looking. I think like, you know, I have a 2023 Toyota Tundra and a lot of y'all probably saw, you know, it's a black truck touches of chrome in it and this would look absolutely amazing behind that truck not saying that my truck can tow this fifth wheel because it absolutely cannot but if you had a black truck touches of chrome in it and whatnot this would look i mean just so dang sharp behind your truck i could only imagine so i'm really excited to see this i'm so curious if i'll see this like out in the world out and about driving down the road since there's only one of them but looks really good i'm again curious your thoughts um now let's go through this cougar here so we're gonna start up front first of all they have a full profile um, fiberglass molded cap here. So this is something that Cougar introduced for 2023 going to the full profile front cap. That's going to allow for stackable washer dryer in the closet, in the bedroom. We'll see more of that when we go inside. You're going to have the hitch vision plate here. And look at how big this hitch vision plate is here for the Cougar, getting a nice good view of your truck backing up to your pin box, road armor pin box with a rubber gasket here. That's going to do a lot of shock absorption for you as well. And again, all black, it has blue LED lights. And then you have touches of Chrome. That sun is really just hitting that camera hard. So let me come back over here real quick. You have touches of that Chrome in the Cougar logo as well. And then of course, all black down this side here. So let's go down this side real quick and just take a look at some of the things underneath here. Um, gonna have two 100 amp hour lithium batteries, have an inverter already installed and a 30 amp solar charge controller, all part of the 400 watt solar system. Um, tire pressure monitoring system there as well, it looks like in a battery disconnect switch. Spare tires also underneath there. And then as you come this way, you're gonna have 30 pound propane bottles on this side. You'll have another one on the other side as well. It's the exact specs for this 260 MLE real quick. This one here is right at um, unloaded 9,840 pounds, fully loaded 12,000 pounds, 2,100 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. So that is what you're looking at here with the Cougar 260 MLE. Coming down this way, you have a really nice pass-through storage compartment, very large space, has a nice kind of toy hauler style flooring in here, very rugged, prep to add another inverter to run ACs if you wanna do that, and solar prep here to add a, another solar charge controller if you wanna expand upon that system. Have electric auto leveling, all your water compartments here, tankless on-demand water heater, have blacked out wheels. I did get confirmation that this red drum here that you will see, if you see a red drum, that is Lippert's ABS system. So anti-lock braking system on travel trailers and fifth wheels. Definitely a big advancement in the RV industry for safety. So glad to see that. And then you have a road armor suspension system as well. So one of the best suspension systems you'll see standard out of the factory on this Cougar fifth wheel. You're going to have a um, rack and pinion style slide out here. And that is pretty much everything along this side. Give you a look around the back here. You'll have your ladder to get up onto the roof, prep to add a backup camera. And then you're gonna have 440 watts of solar on the roof and two ACs. Back through this space, you have a griddle cooktop and a mini fridge out here. And you do have an outdoor shower on your campsite. So a campsite water source. Four point auto leveling, again, blacked out wheels as well and just looks like a thing of beauty. Your LED light for your awning is a blue LED light. 
it, hopefully you can see that there. And that awning covers a good portion of your outside space. See your two solar panels on the roof for that 440 watts of solar, black glass door, and it's pretty much everything. Um, outlets here as well, outdoor speakers up here, and that's pretty much it. You'll see this on a lot of new products for 2024, the Moride safety rail. So this, I am a fan of this. I don't know why some people don't like it, honestly. Um, I guess maybe if you want to have that standard handle that, you know, can kind of keeps your door closed. Uh, but other than that, I mean, this extends further down. It's also more compact and I don't know. I just, I definitely prefer it, but y'all let me know what you think. You have the Lippert solid steps as you walk in really low step to the ground so easy to get up and a nice big platform here and then as we go inside this is their 260 mle so you can see because of keeping everything black on the outside they put all these stickers that they a lot of times put on the outside of the rv inside the door here and this is going to be the 260 mle 440 watts of solar cougar is going to have everything that you need to live in this thing full time four seasons so you definitely don't have to worry about that and as we walk inside here very, very interesting floor plan. It is so open. And so this is kind of like a stretched out version of the 23 MLE that they introduced last year, except they just give you all this countertop space here. So definitely intended to be a couple style coach where you have your recliner seats here directly across from the TV and then just a ton of countertop space. So very curious your thoughts on what you think about this floor plan design and layout giving you a ton of countertop space, get a huge, huge um, fireplace here. This is going to be an electric heat source for you as well. And then you're just gonna get a ton of storage. I actually haven't opened some of these things here. Oh my gosh, I have to come back and film more stuff. Guys, y'all are seeing my first impression of this. I didn't even open this before. Oh my gosh, I feel like an idiot. I feel like an idiot. Wow, okay, let's get this open. Oh my gosh, I just filmed two other videos of this RV for like TikTok and whatnot. And I just said that there's no table. Wow, I'm so dumb. Oh my gosh, y'all. At least I get to go back and correct it. Okay, there we go. Oh, so you do have a table. Interesting. Okay, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time just looking at like the construction of this and seeing exactly how it's supposed to operate. But you can see you do have a table that comes out here. So this is gonna give you an eating surface there. And then that will slide back and go away when you don't need it. Wow, very interesting. Okay, so you do have a table space. I wonder if it will come with chairs. We'll probably find that out here in a little bit. Um, this is gonna be, looks like a 50 to 55 inch screen TV. So a big, big TV there. That is a nice spot right across from your recliners as well. So when I sit down in the recliner, you can see it's right across from you. Black ceiling fan, you have Coleman Mach uh, Q-series ACs here as well. So those are gonna have the residential air filter get some um, additional touches that you don't see in a lot of other RV brands with like this accent in the ceiling panels there. Just gives it more character. It's not just a plain white like you usually see. Solid surface countertops. This looks like a new countertop color for 2024 from the Cougar team as well. This is a Vizio TV. You have things like your inverted outlets because you do have the 440 watt solar system. These inverted outlets are gonna run off that inverter. So it can run things like that off your battery power. And then you're just gonna have a ton of storage space here in the kitchen. You can see they went to like some new handles here on the drawers, but look at all those cabinets that you have going across and down underneath here. And again, the countertop space, just endless. Windows going along this space here as well. Windows along the back wall there. You have your space here. Pull this out, two trash cans there and a pull out. Ooh, look at that, that's nice. Spot to put paper towels and space in here as well. That's like solid hardwood too, so I really like that. Three pull-out drawers here. So that's the smaller one and then two larger ones. Wow, that's actually a pretty big size drawer there. So good storage with that. A split stainless steel sink, split, uh, stainless steel faucet as well. Storage into the corner goes deep back into there and then storage above your sink. Oh my gosh, this has soft closed cabinet doors too. I don't think Cougars had that before. I think that's new for 2024 with the soft closed cabinets as well. So I love that, definitely always notice that. Black ceiling fan, again, just looks really, really nice. And storage underneath the sink, big open space there. Tons of storage. You're gonna have the bigger Furion oven here, so not the smallest oven. And gonna have storage underneath there as well. Three burner stove, gonna have a standard residential size microwave. Storage up above the microwave. And then a 16 cubic foot Furion 12 volt refrigerator. This is gonna be a split refrigerator, freezer on one side, refrigerator on the other. 
And then looking up, you have a max or event fan there as well. And you will have, should be a vent fan here. Uh, yeah, you have a vent fan here as well to vent out smells while you're cooking there over the oven. Big windows on this side here as well. The recliners will recline all the way back and they do have, looks like heat and massage and a USB ports inside the armrest there. You're gonna have a little storage space inside this area here. And then in this space, you're gonna get your pantry. So you will have pantry storage. This is like, gosh, it's almost like if a, I mean, if a couple wanted to go on like a month long trip, you have all this space in here to need, to be able to fit everything you need to be able to do that. It's really, really impressive. Again, solid surface countertops. Um, with Keystone, they do have an owner's app, a lot of different things that they have inside their owner's app. Um, hopefully y'all can see that and you can, you know, read over that information there, but gonna have a lot of really unique access for owners to access information to help you out with your camping experience. Storage space there, these are glass cabinet doors and then LED accent light up above this area as well. So that's your living space. Um, as we go up the steps, you have a nice spot that's carved out there to put your shoes. So your shoes can go in that area. Grab handle here, in command system. So this is gonna be a touchscreen control panel that will link to your phone. And then as you go into the bathroom, you're going to have a standard size fifth wheel RV bathroom here, um, but it looks really nice. And you're going to have a seat molded into the shower there so you can sit down. And when I step in here, this is a really long shower. Ceiling height is great. Ceiling height in here is probably like six foot four to right here. So probably like six, 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 seven could fit in here with the skylight. And this actually goes above my head. So I love that they put this in a great position. I don't have to duck to get underneath this. Maybe just a little bit for like the peak of my head, but really good height on that as well. And just a good space overall, very comfortable. You're going to have a porcelain foot flush toilet room on both sides for your shoulders there sliding farm style door here and then you have a um, towel rack that goes across there storage space through here and a little cubby space down underneath there gonna have a big stainless steel sink here in the restroom storage down underneath here and pull out drawers there finally up here you have your medicine cabinet storage so three shelves with that and a vent fan up here in the ceiling. Now as we go to, oh, and also um, tankless water heater controls here in the restroom. So good location for that. As we go into the bedroom, you have a king size east to west facing bed. Love to see this in this size fifth wheel. Really nice looking design here in the bedroom as well. You have these shelves above the windows, but they're pretty much out of your way. Pull down blackout shades on the windows. Really nice looking pillows that it will come with. You have the storage here, spot for a TV on the wall, prep to add a Wi-Fi router. And then you have another AC system in here and you have dual ducting in this fifth wheel. So ducting coming down this side of the fifth wheel and down this side. And you have these blade AC vents that more evenly disperse air to help cool down your RV faster. You'll have your storage space through here. So small pullout drawer, larger pullout drawer, and no storage underneath here. So you come this way, you're gonna have a Clothing rod that goes across the top so you can put hangers in that space. This is one where you can kind of put a hanger on each side of that area there. So it can hang lots of clothes with that. And then you have a really well thought out closet adding in this additional shelf here. And then it has a little cubby back behind there. Tabletop space, outlet, USB ports. That's kind of where the person on this side of the bed could plug things in. And then as you come back through here, prep to add a stackable washer and dryer. So you get that in this Cougar fifth wheel as well. Can take those shelves out and get a stackable washer and dryer. So if you want a lightweight fifth wheel to full-time camp in, this is a pretty awesome option. Um, there's one thing I missed too. I didn't look at these underneath here. Okay, there's your chairs. Yep, chairs down underneath here, big storage space underneath here. So those are gonna be your chairs for the table there. So now I have to go back and correct myself on these shorter videos that I made and talk about the table, but other than that, let me know what you think. Definitely want to know what you think about the floor plan layout itself. And then what do you think about this full black exterior? Is this something that you like, that you don't like? Would you want to see more of this? Very curious your thoughts on that. So let me know down below in the comments. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure to go check out in the description below my Firmly Unbound YouTube channel. Go subscribe to that channel. There's going to be video content coming to that channel. I haven't posted anything yet, but it is coming. And you're not gonna wanna miss that. I'm really excited because it's gonna be different than what we're doing here, but y'all are definitely going to enjoy it. So go subscribe to that channel because stuff is coming. And that's all I got for y'all. Until next time, live Firmly Unbound.